Ooh. How are you doing everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Dorset Bumpkin here, Mark. Um, hope you're okay and all keeping like safe and well and everything like we're like we're supposed to do because obviously we're still in the middle of a difficult time um, in lockdown everybody's um, having to stay at home not do a great deal which is a bit of a shame because the weather's so nice right now and we can't get out and do anything which is a bit of a nuisance um, so yeah um, I've, I'm back at work I've been back at work for a couple of weeks now um, I did my seven days isolation um, plus I have my holiday now um, yeah we're on different hours as, as you know normally I do uh, what's called a three on three off shift so I do three days on where I'm working 12 hour shifts three days in a row then I have three days off so at the moment um, they've revised the hours so that the the lines in my department have kind of been revised so we're now um, only doing 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. calls so yeah I've been doing Reduced shifts this week, um, five hours. Um, this week I'm on 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Getting picked up from home all the way to work by the tax, which is so cool. I'm going to really miss that when it goes back to being normal, which is going to be the one thing I do miss, sadly. Um, and they're also paying for me to get dropped home after work as well from work, which is really cool. So that's a lot of money they're spending on us and doing for us because they're, they're doing taxes for each individual member of staff that comes via the taxi because obviously ordinarily we all meet down Bournemouth station <clears throat> we all pile into one or two taxis depending on how many of us there is and um, with social distancing rules not great so we have to be careful of that and that's why they brought this in measure into place so yeah um, I've finished today finished at one o'clock today I'm home now um, just so you're wondering I'm wearing a baseball cap I know which is unusual for me because I don't normally wear baseball caps Reason for that is simple. My hair is long, messy, greasy, needs a wash. And I'm not sure it on camera, it's embarrassing. So that's why I'm wearing the cap. Next time I have a video, I probably won't have the cap on. I might do, I don't know, because I'll tell you a little bit about my new hobby in a bit. It's a strange hobby. Don't ask me why, but it's a new hobby that I've got, which I'm gonna start doing odd. So why am I doing a video today? Well, one, I haven't recorded anything since my isolation when I did the poems. Now, yeah, again, I need to apologise because I was supposed to have kept that up every single day that I was on isolation, each seven day, and read a poem. I didn't do it. I apologise. My bad. Um, I've got no excuse. The simply the reason that it never happened was because I found myself watching so much anime um, online that I just kind of lost track of time. Yeah, a lame excuse, I know, but that, that's the truth of the matter. So, yeah. So what am I doing today? So today I'm just really coming on camera just to catch up with you all, say hi, how you doing? And hope you're all keeping safe and keeping well. Don't forget, if you don't need to go out, don't go out, stay home. Only go out if you have to go to out to the shops to get some shopping. Only go out for health reasons and for exercises. Or if you have to go to work, if you can't work from home and it's the center you go to work, then fine. You have to go to work, totally get that. Otherwise, if none of those criteria meet, you meet any of those criteria, don't worry. Don't 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 go out. Stay home, relax, do stuff that maybe you've never done before or haven't done for a long time. Discover a new hobby. Who knows? Could be anything. Stay home. Just wanted to say that before I go any further. So what am I doing today? So I am cooking today because you know, remember a few months ago, I went through, I did a few videos where it showed me cooking some meals because I have this obsession with Asian food at the time still got it still love Asian food and I'm still eating eating lots of Asian food I'm just gonna turn the water down because it's boiling my uh, water so yeah I'm now doing some cooking so what am I doing today well as you know I subscribe to simply cook it's a, an app that you can download from the Play Store and also from the uh, the, the the app store if you're an iPhone user um, and you can go onto there and you can order monthly boxes. You pay a £9.99 fee per month and you send, you subscribe to the Simply Cook. They send you out a box of four meals. So you basically get a box of uh, four meals, three sources for those meals. And they send you out recipe cards, whole shebang. So you can cook meals that maybe you've never cooked before. So yeah, I'm doing that today. Now today I'm doing, um, I'll show you what I'm doing. I've done, I did Nyon, a meal called Nyonya um, a, a, few, a few weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago. It's a, like an Indonesian curry. Really nice, really nice. I did that, that was a successful. Today, I've gone Cuban. 
So today I'm doing this. It's called, if you can see that on the, yeah, there you go, Cuban prawn pasta. So basically, one normally I cook chicken or beef. So for a change, I've decided to go with prawns because I love prawns anyway. Um, so yeah, but we're doing them in a pasta. So it's basically, yeah, essentially it is a pasta with prawns. That's all it is and some veg. However, <clears throat> I there is obviously a little bit of take. There is some sauces that we take. There's some, you put some cream in it, veg, that kind of stuff. Really cool, so that's what I'm doing today. Now, it says to use linguine pasta. So basically, the, the, you, well, we all know what linguine is. It's, it's kind of pasta ribbons. Very similar in a way, I suppose, to the noodles. I haven't got any of those because obviously the shops are really empty of stuff. So I had to go with an alternative, which is still pasta. It's not quite linguine, but it's it's close enough. I've got, it's called, well, I don't know what it's called. It's some fat, yeah. Lenta Essicagione. I'm, I'm not Italian, so I've mispronounced that completely. So apologies to my Italian friends. That's what I've got. It's lenta basically. So we're using that, it's, I'll show you. It's like a, it's very similar to macaroni, except it's got like a little frill on it. See, that's what it is, one of them. So we're doing that instead. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So if, what I've got over here is I've got all my ingredients. I'll just uh, flip the camera over so you can see those. Give me a second. So yeah, there we go. There's all the, there's the pasta. Okay, it's already open. I've used some of it. There's the pasta. That's my single cream, which you use for the meal. Now you can either go for either broccoli, which I went for, or asparagus. Now again, I only went for broccoli because there was no asparagus, so I've gone with that. You also use little tomatoes. Now these are piccolo tomatoes, but they are the same sort of thing, little cherry tomatoes. I've had some already, you can see I've, I've opened them. Had some already with my with some, the sandwich, so that's some of them, but I don't need all of them. Just need, that's all I need. And there's the prawns. So just some good prawns from Culp. And over here, these three little pots down here, these are the pots you get from Simply Cook. So you get Moho seasoning, white wine reduction, second pot, and a garlic paste. Now the first one that we're going to be putting in is this, okay? Um, that's going to be the first thing we do because we're going to be frying the prawns in a second. Okay, I'm not going to film it because it'll be a long old video if I do that. So we're going to fry the prawns with that in a bit, okay? Then we put in the white wine with the veg, and then finally and, and the garlic paste as well, they go in together. So that's, that's the process. So yeah, that's all my ingredients and it should, as I say, hopefully look something like that at the end of it. That's the theory anyway. And basically there's the linguine there. So you can see that's linguine. I haven't got any of that, but that's fine. Got everything else, so we'll be we'll be fine. There'll be no problem at all. Right, so yeah, that's what I'm doing today, cooking that. And I'm gonna cook that up in a set in a boat. It's gonna take about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, maybe a bit more because I'm talking. But yeah, that is what I'm doing right now. So I'm gonna carry on cooking and I will obviously show you the meal when it's complete um, and when it's all done, okay? So I'll catch you guys later. So yeah, there we go. I am back with you now, folks. There it is. There is dinner. So that is my Cuban prawn mojo pasta. Now, admittedly, it doesn't quite look the same as the picture on the card. There's the picture on the card. There's mine. Now, as you can see, obviously, to start with, the pasta's wrong. Also, for future reference, because I'm gonna do this again because it looks yum, I'm gonna get, let, I'm not gonna cook so much pasta. I think I've cooked way too much pasta. Probably could have cooked a few more um, tomatoes in there and certainly some more prawns. I, I literally went with not every single prawn in the bag, um, just some. Um, so I probably could have put more tomatoes and more prawns in there. Um, I think next time with the broccoli, although fresh broccoli is cool, I'm probably going to go with frozen broccoli florets because they're kind of already chopped nicely and they will go in better and easier to cook. Yeah, so that is Cuban mojo pasta. Okay, as you can see, a bit too much on the pasta. That's fine. Learning curve for next time. Not so much on the pasta, but let's have a taste of it and see what it tastes like. So we get a bit of everything. There's a bit of prawn there, a bit of broccoli and the pasta. I think that's pretty much everything yeah, on that fork and give it a shot, see what it's like. There we go. Oh, I've dropped off. Okay, wait, bear with me a second while I try again. Okay, let's give it a go. Oh, my word. Mmm. That's nice. Real nice. So, yeah. 
It's got a nice kind of smoky taste to it. I like that a lot. <clears throat> um, veggies are cooked really well. Happy with that. Prawns taste beautiful, nice and how they should be. So I'm happy with that as well. There's a bit of heat, which I love. It's not overpowering, but there's a bit of heat there. Um, and a bit, and you can taste the spices that you, uh, the mojo spices that you wrap the prawns in, and the sauces as well. Really, really lovely. Um, you can taste a bit of the garlic as well. Love it. That's good. So yeah, <clears throat> that is my Cuban prawn pasta. And as I say, next time we're going to go with proper with proper linguine next time if we can. Broccoli florets, frozen from Iceland. Not so much pasta, more prawns. And yeah, and uh, give it another go. That is my second meal that I've cooked from Simply Cook. And I'm happy with that. That's a two win out of two, so I'm happy with that. That's it from me. Um, nothing further to add on to the video. I just wanted to go through um, today's meal with you. Um, so let just to wrap up this video, and uh, then we'll get it uploaded. So yeah, that's the end of today's video. Thanks so much for your company and for your continued support to my channel. Um, don't forget, if you're visiting me for the very first time, please subscribe. It helps the channel, especially this time of the day. And I do want my channel to take off. Um, now, admittedly, I've got to do my part and do a bit more content on it, and I will do my best to do that. But yeah, please do like the channel, um, subscribe to the channel, I should say, and like my videos. Leave any comments in, in the section down below. Good or bad, I don't care what they are, just comment and talk tips, how I could have done that dinner better, whatever, just chat to me, I'll look at the comments, reply to me if you're, obviously as I say, I've said before, if you're just going to be plain rude and abusive to me, I'm going to ignore you, there's no need for that, but yeah, um, I'll look at your comments and reply to any of the comments you make, but so that's it from me, thanks so much for your time today, <clears throat> as I say, keep safe, stay indoors, don't go out unless you have to, save lives, protect the NHS. I know it's a cliche, but it is imperative. If we want to get back to normality, we have to do what the government want us to do. So follow the rules. Only go out if you have to. Chopping, exercise, health reasons, essential work. If you can work from home, as I say, work from home. If you don't need to go out, don't go out. No, I do appreciate it's tough right now. Weather's gorgeous. We've had a lot of sun lately the past couple of weeks. It's really difficult to be stuck inside and isolated from that. But do your best and together we can beat this and we can go back to normality and do the things we all love doing that we may have taken for granted. Take care of yourselves everybody and stay safe. Keep healthy.